figured I need to release a quick video on some tips and tricks on how to install the Goheen Cycles relocation ignition relocation switch for VTX 1300 and now VTX 1800. I'm going to be doing it on a VTX 1800 dash today. Um, the big part of this is, is a lot of guys are afraid of how do I keep this thing lined up and centered on the dash. What's the best way to do it without tearing the dash itself up? Um, I think that uh, a couple of these tips are going to help you out. I've done a couple of these now. Uh, you need a 1 and 7 8 hole saw to actually cut the, the hole for the ignition itself. And I'll show you some tips on how to get the holes drilled for the little button head screws that need to go in that are actually going to hold this in place. Go, so let's go through some of the stuff you're going to need to put this this ignition on your dash. Um, I the best thing to use is use masking tape. This is paint mask, same type of thing. It's clear, just like masking tape. Um, but what you're going to end up doing is taking this and sticking it to your dash. This will kind of help keep the chrome from getting chewed up, and it'll also keep everything get scratched while you're working. So stick that on their dash about where your ignition kit's gonna go. The other thing you're gonna need is your 1 and 7 8 hole saw. I use a centering punch or a uh, automatic punch um, so that I can punch this a couple times um, where I want this to go and my drill bit on my hole saw won't walk. Um, ruler, measuring tape, something to where you can measure out um, what your uh, you know where you want this to actually sit on here and keep it centered in the in the dash so that being said um, you're also going to need a round file which I'll have out here in just a few minutes um, and that's to clean the hole up because a lot of times 1 and 7 8 hole saw will get the job done but you usually have some minor um, uh, filing that you need to do just to make it fit perfect so to mark out where you want to do this, it's usually I usually say flip the hole saw upside down when it's not on the chuck for your drill and just kind of slide around the dash and figure out where you want it. On these 1800 dashes I figured out that this Honda emblem down here at the bottom, I usually take, I take it personally, you can do one of two things, you can drill it right below it or you can go up right above it and I usually try to take, just take the emblem out. So. Um, what that ends up doing is that leaves my hole um, somewhere about, I don't know, about an eighth to a quarter of an inch below this emblem. So I'll measure that out now and center that inside the emblem. something for my drill bit to hit. Um, now I'll take a small drill bit and drill that hole out before I actually use the chuck and the hole saw to install the, uh, or to, to put the big hole in. That just makes it a little cleaner. So let me go grab that and then we'll drill that hole out real fast. So merely to save time, I chucked my small drill bit up in a dr one drill and then put my uh, hole saw in another drill. So I'm going to drill my small hole in the dash. That is your pilot for the chuck in this drill bit. So now, make sure you're hanging on to this. And you're going to drill this hole. Take your ignition, and you'll be able to see it's going to need 
cleaned out just a little bit. Some hole saws, um, I'm using a Milwaukee. Um, the Harbor Freight, some of the some of the Harbor Freight holes on the 78 hole saws aren't exact. Um, so you have to be careful uh, which set you're using. Filed out a little bit. And sometimes this part can take time, so take your time. Make sure you're you're not trying to rush through this step. Because you start rushing through this, this is when you're gonna make mistakes and you'll have gaps and everything else. So um, I usually say just take your time filing this out, and um, that will, it's going to help you in the long run, plus it's going to keep the face of your dash in a lot better shape um, than if you rush. So I'm going to go through here and file this out real quick to get this uh, ignition to fit. So now I pretty much have a perfect fit. Um, there's no, you don't really get a lot of slop in it, and that's what you want. And that's why I say use a 1 of 7 8 hole saw and then you get some round files um, to make sure you have a perfect fit. So now you slide this in upside down. And what you're wanting to do, because there's two screws that come with the kit, so you technically only need to use the top two um, bolts. Now, if you mount this a little lower, these tabs have to be able to line up to where the wiring can come back up underneath the dash and go underneath the tank. So if you mount this kind of low, you're going to have to mount the ignition upside down so that the wires will go up and out. Um, where this one's currently mounted, we're going to mount it this way. Um, and what I'll do is take my punch again and get these fairly closely lined up. and mark a center hole, punch, I'm going to pull the ignition back out. and then we're gonna drill these out. So I'll go grab the other small drill bit I need to do this. Now it's time to drill the, the small holes. I'll start with or the, the holes for the screws. Start with a small drill bit. Put it on your little dimpled section you had earlier. Drill a small hole, same thing on this side. Then I step up to the larger drill bit. Now I have a good pilot hole. You don't have to put a lot of pressure so that it doesn't dig down in there. I usually just put light pressure and that also keeps the chrome from getting eaten up. Now, the next step is cleaning up 
the burrs and all that stuff. Um, usually I'll take a lot, you know, a very fine file and run around just to clean it up a little bit. It gets rid of the stuff that actually ends up on the dash as you're filing it out. Then fill your tape. You have birds to clean up on the inside as well, just from the plastic when you cut it out. Possible. Now, slide your switch in from the bottom side. Slide your bolts through. And when you put these nuts on here, onto your uh, bolts, make sure you lock tight those in place. switch has been installed and uh, it's pretty much what it looks like when it's all done. You'll just hook your wiring up according to your uh, wiring diagram from left to right. Uh, red, gray, and then blue. Obviously if it's the inverse that's going to be inverted as well. Run your wiring up underneath your tank. Unplug your factory wiring, plug that wiring harness in, and you're ready to rock and roll. So pretty easy installation. If you guys get any questions please let me know and uh, I'll do my best to get them answered for you.